remarkable Queenslanders who are both no longer with us. Now, the first one I want to tell you about is a Scottish country dancer and teacher and dance divisor called Frances Walder. Now, have any of you come across Francis anywhere? Yeah, dancing in the world? Because he's dancing everywhere. He was never at St Andrews, but he certainly was in North America a lot. He's been to Japan and given knows where else. Anyway, he was Australia's version of John Drury. He loved writing dances. The more complicated, the better. He loved 40 bar reels. He loved meanwhiles. Anyway, during his lifetime, he published some books that are in the Dancing Brolga collection. He passed away two years ago, way before his time. After his passing, we discovered another 40 dances that he hadn't published during his lifetime. So, the Queensland branch has decided to publish three more books of his dances. And anyone who wants one, you can come and see me and we'll put you in contact with our branch secretary. Anyway, to continue the crocodile theme, <laughs> the dance we chose to dance out of one of these books today is called Crocodile Tears. Now, have any of you heard of another remarkable Queenslander who is no longer with us called Steve Irwin, the Crocodile? Yes. <laughs> see, they <laughs> okay, so Steve was a remarkable man, wrangled crocodiles, did all sorts of things, and his favourite catch cry was, crikey. Now we've also had to explain to one of our honorary Queenslanders, this is actually German, what crikey means. It's, not <laughs> it's saying, good heavens, in Australian. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.